Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we are looking at something that is pretty interesting. And you know, unlike every other time that we just get to talk about news, update, tutorials, stuff like this, today we are looking at something that the folks at Weta Digital are giving out for free. Now, this is a project file or the entire project, not just a project file, the entire project for the Mercat animation shots that was done entirely in Unreal Engine. Actually, not really entirely, but you know, you get the idea. The short film was rendered entirely in Unreal Engine alongside a couple of other tool sets that we're going to talk about. Now, if you like to get this, link is going to be in the description where you can get it. And within the project file, you would find out that you're getting a fully rigged, groomed and animated characters. You would also get environment characters, effects, audios, Maya files, and also textures plus materials. And you need about 10 gigabytes of space for you to get this going. Now, if you want to read more about the whole production process, the making of the hair, you know, you want to read about the whole idea behind this, you will find a very lovely blog that has almost all of the details that you need for that. But this isn't what I want to talk about today. I just want to show you guys these amazing stuff and also the you know talk about some of the things that we got to spot and some of the things that you need to know about when you're playing with this so once you open this file the first things you would notice is there is a huge 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 set of cool stuff that you can work with all of these things here are being populated by simply using the mega scan so mega scan came in extremely handy right here and you can see very high resolution stuff select on any of these objects press f on your keyboard to zoom right in and you can preview this you can look around it and you can see how much quality that this has now something else that also makes sense is you can also see the lights and you can see the camera so let's also zoom right there and take a look at the lights and the cameras and there's a lot of cameras that you will be getting here tons and tons of cameras you can see all of the models they are in their basic poses we have the eagle we have the mercat and then we have cameras we have the reflection probes right here within the contents folder you will notice we have assets we have cinematics common level mega scan and also ms presets so within the mega scan you can find tons of stuff from surfaces to atlases and you can also open up this things let's see what the dry grass looks like all right so these are you know the dry grasses that was used to populate some of these parts and if we jump right back you can also see the assets i'm very hyped about the assets so let's take a look at that this is for the eagle and the eagle comes with the animation it comes with the blueprint comes with some other things so right here we have the animations and you have the very first one and then we have this other one so if we simply double click you can see the eagle in action very very nice and you know basically this is what you get now all of the hair though you know all of the fur and all of the feathers that you see here are all generated directly in unreal engine and for sure once you're playing back the animation you don't get to see it but once you come through and take a look at them in the viewport you can see these things in action so if we jump all the way back let's take a look at the mercat itself and you can see that it has a, some blueprints some materials you can see how the materials look like and the model exists here and of course you can see that the grooms for the models were also done right here so let's actually go ahead and press the playback button to see what we have and you can see it's you know it's animating now one thing which you would notice is you see we have a couple of flies going back and forth you know just simply traveling those things are particle system they're simply being driven by the niagara system that exists right here and this is just very very lovely i mean this animation is happening in real time right here in unreal engine now you might be wondering how is it possible that you know you're getting this very smooth animation the idea for the smooth animation is that the folks at weta digital were working with the live link tool which exists for unreal engine and that itself actually made the animation process way way easier so at any point in time you would like to stop the animation you want to preview it you want to see something going on you can easily stop it now something else which you probably you know wouldn't see or can't really tell is that the lighting for these scenes they are interesting so if we go down here and take a look from underneath this part you can see it has a different form of lighting going on there 
and this light is what lights up the character once it runs into that hole and the light is so subtle that it doesn't break the action now for those who like to run these things you know want to play it back and forth and see how it works if you click on cinematics select the master sequencer this would load the sequencer and once it loads the sequencer you can now simply press the playback button or simply scribble across with your playhead and see what we have so like i said earlier this is real time so i can select any part press f on the keyboard and take a look at it and simply use the sequencer and go through and you can see you know you're sitting in the director's chair right now and you're previewing what is going on you can see all of these cameras are looking and there are camera switching going back and forth so you can see that happening right here and we're moving back moving forward and we're watching these things happen and yeah just like every other thing you can make some changes i can easily select any of these parts select any of these assets and i can move these assets to where i would like it to be so maybe for this one we could move this one to a point like so so let's move this one right about the point like this and if you would like to rotate that you can also do that rotational stuff so we can also rotate this and we can still raise this one all the way up so depending on what you like to do you can simply do all of these things so for set dressing if you like to change some stuff yes you can so press the playback button one more time and you can see what you have in here let's press that playback button and you can literally watch this and take some chances see the things that you like to see preview the animation how you like to preview this animation and we're just rotating across and having fun while taking a look at the project now regardless of you know the whole technology technicality and things that you will learn once you open up this project there is uh, something that has to do with organization that i think a lot of artists lack and that's the main reason why i would like to go through to show you guys something else that you can learn with this so if we go over to levels and open up that level you see that we have the master level the level sequencer and also shots all of the shots are well organized and this is just something that is quite interesting you can see a shot for this and if we jump all the way back you can see another shot like this and these are just very very lovely lovely stuff so this project file is here if you like to play with it you want to play with the sequencer you want to you know make some changes you want to make some tweaks you can literally go in there and start playing with these things and getting the most out of them so for those who like to read more about the project you can go through read more about the project but you cannot use any of these assets for non unreal engine stuff and that is well specified here once you go to download it they say it's licensed for use only with unreal engine based products so you cannot use these things outside unreal engine you know you cannot use this project outside unreal engine based products and if you want to read more about unreal engine 4.26 we already covered a video about that but then you can still go in and read more about things like the hair read more about those you know the sky system the water mesh body and also some very cool improvement that they've added for render passes and also the animation tool sets so for live link for those who like to get live link you can simply go over to the link i'm going to put this link in the description so you can read more about the live link and if you would like to you know grab unreal engine read about it see all of this cool stuff links to all of these are going to be in the description for those who like to join the discord link to that is also going to be in the description and that's definitely going to be about it i'd like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like these peace